Hey, good morning folks. Saw our new dump truck there in action. Nice lift gate so we can dump our boulders without destroying it. And a long time in coming, DJ and I finally have a new job trailer. Check it out. Much bigger, better, more room. This is awesome. So, excited about that. One of the cool things that we did here, we used to have all our fittings down in a, bu in, in a bunch of different totes. Now I can get to whatever fitting I want really easily without, you know, going through a whole bunch of boxes, so. And, like always, it made it look real pretty on the outside with, uh, you guessed it, water features. Sweet. It's gonna be a good year. All right, let's go look at what we're doing. Dan and Miles were in here and did a really nice um, outdoor living space, pool, pavilion, outdoor kitchen, but we're missing a key element. So we're taking care of that here this morning, putting in a water feature because, you know, that's where the life is. You need to put a water feature in. Well, here's the space right here in this corner. We're gonna put the basin in right here. We have two triaxle loads of soil coming in. We're gonna build a big mound there and a big, uh, wide, super wide, about 10, 12 feet long pondless waterfall is gonna be going in here. Um, I'll see what I could do. I might get a falls pointed out to this walkway and then the rest of them, there's kitchen over there and pool here. I just wanna create some visual for this outdoor space. So, should be an exciting build. Always excited to put in another waterfall. All right, after lunch update. Got our basin in, pump fold in, pump put in there and plumbed. Now we're getting ready to, I actually went over to the rock pile and I picked out our first framing boulders. I'm gonna place them right here. Let's go take a look at them. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. This boulder is gonna go in the middle. We're going to get water. This one's just kind of sat here, kind of funny like, but I was, I usually get in the machine and I move them around until I get something I like. Somehow I'm gonna work with water coming over here and water wrecking into here and hopefully get water coming off the side this way and a spillway down through the middle. So water, almost like a horseshoe curve over there. And then I don't like when I get too much of a straight line, so I move this boulder this way to kind of break that up. Gives it a little bit more character. And I'd like a little bit of a smaller falls. That one's gonna have a majority of the water. This is a little tight one in here. I want water to fall down here. I'm still not sure if I'm going to have it. Possibly, I could put a rock in here to create a spillway from here and one back here. So it could fall in here to a pool and then fall over here this way. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that yet, but there's water gonna come around this boulder on both sides. Definitely use this and that to get some character. And I'm not sure, I don't like when water just falls and hits on top of another rock because it tends to splatter and it looks ridiculous. I'd prefer for it to land in a pool. So, having said that, I might need to work a spillway in out here, or then build this spillway so that it clears this and falls out there. We'll see. All right, let's go set him.
right here. Afternoon of day two and things are really moving along. DJ was down here foaming this morning. He worked in all the spillways. This is just gonna be a real nice tall drop there. I like how this boulder and this boulder it's like it almost could be the same rock. They mesh together so nicely. And there's gonna be a little ripple back in here before it comes over there. And um, initially, you know, uh, your plan <laughs> evolves when you start building. Initially, I had this framing boulder and this framing boulder and that framing boulder. And we brought it in here and we sat it and I was just like, something doesn't, right? This is just one straight line. And uh, all of a sudden I was like, I got it. I also didn't like how recessed this was. You know, it would have spilled straight down in here and that would have been it. It would have fallen down in the basin. So I was like, if I move a boulder front here, I'll get another little ripple of a falls here and I'll get a deep pool right here. And when I do that, it kind of breaks up that straight wall and that just, it ties it all together perfectly. So we got water coming around this rock, spills into here, spills into there, deep pool. DJ got lights on it. This is gonna be a big pooling area, two falls. One coming around here, one coming around there. DJ will work around like this until he gets something that he likes. I think we're gonna have a little pool in here and some water coming down here as well as spilling out here. That's just a regular falls. And this last pool, this is gonna be all pool area. Got a nice big rock here be able to sit on the edge of the pool. And here's the final falls. Once again, we're gonna split around a rock. That's kind of been the theme on this feature because I wanted to build it really wide. Yeah, we don't have our spillway rocks in here, but here are framing boulders. I think we're gonna get falls into here and another one out of there. Okay, so here, I don't know, maybe this afternoon, probably not. We might have water running here, but uh, it's coming along nicely.